This slide shows different types of engineering research. First, let us compare the descriptive research and the analytical research. As the term descriptive implies, the main purpose of the descriptive research is to effectively describe a situation, trying to make sense of the factors that involve as a process to find the reason behind it. Normally, the researchers has no control over the variables rather than only report as it is. This kind of research normally involves the comparative and correlation methods. There will be comparisons of something over another and some approach may be used in order to correlate the factors involved in that particular situation. There will be a process of facts finding as an attempt to determine the causes behind that situation. In layman term, descriptive research is normally related to something which is observable where the actual causes or reasons behind it is unclear and not supported by any existing theories and principles, then the researcher will have to come up with another method in order to find the reason behind it by making some comparisons or correlations. As for the analytical research, there will be facts which is already exist that can be used for the analysis and also for the critical evaluations. We have better knowledge on some reasons behind a topic to be studied and on basis of that available facts, we are able to dig deeper into the topic in order to gain better understanding on it. Sometimes, the research study may not explicitly descriptive or analytical. Some research may have the combinations of the descriptive and analytical study, where there are parts that can be supported with available facts. However, there are some portions of it still remain unknown, where their relationship is unclear. This will lead to some approaches from the descriptive research being adopted in the research study. Next, let us look into the comparisons of the applied research and the fundamental research. The applied research are typically more practical. It is meant to solve an immediate problem while the fundamental research is more theoretical, it is typically concerned with generalizations and formulations of a theory. The fundamental research are normally concerning the natural phenomena or relating to pure mathematics. It is meant to seek information having broad base of applications in the medium to long term. In another word, the fundamental research are meant to establish principles and theories which may not necessarily be immediately useful for some applications. The main purpose is to know what it is and to effectively describe something. Some examples of the applied research include to determine social or economical trend or find out whether certain communications will be read and understood and the ultimate goal here is to determine a solution for compelling problem in actual practice. Normally, the applied research is expected to give answers to immediate problems by providing good solutions for that particular problem. Next, let us compare the qualitative and quantitative research. The quantitative research 
uses the statistical observations of a large number of representative cases in order to draw any conclusion. Where else, the qualitative research rely on a few non-representative case or verbal narrations in the behavioral study to make a prepositions. In a simpler term, quantitative research involves a large number of samples which rely extensively on the statistical measures where the analysis are done in a very measurable manner. As for the qualitative research, it involves some in-depth study of several cases which is hardly quantifiable in studying a topic. Now that you have basic understanding on different types of the engineering research, where different types of the research have their own characteristics, advantages, as well as the limitations. There is no saying that which method is better than another one, or which is less superior than the other. It is mainly subjected to the topics that you are studying, in terms that the existence of the available facts or the purpose of the study, whether it is to establish theories or to solve an immediate problem, and also the approach of the study, whether the measurable analysis is more appropriate or in-depth study is more appropriate. You will need to choose the right research method for your study so that it yields reliable findings after you have completed the research.